Hi guys, the Olympic eSports event will end today. So this is the perfect time to see what's the difference between a good player and an Olympic champion. To see my settings and equipment, check out the video description. I managed a 115.690. So my time is almost one second away from the current leader, Giorgio Mangano. And about position 500 of more than 160,000 people. Now let's see how Mangano destroys my best time by almost one second. On the straight and on our way to the first corner, we're quite even. Even we've got almost the same speed and the same shifting points, he is able to be back on throttle much earlier. So this results in an about 8 km per hour faster exit speed at the end of this corner. In the following S corner he's faster off the throttle and slows down a little bit more than I do. So at the point where my car still rolls through the corner, he's already back on the throttle and got a higher exit speed and a better position for the following left corner. All in all, my line through this first section wasn't bad at all and you see it's quite similar to one of Mangano. But in the end, even those small mistakes make a three times difference at the first split time. I think I did a good job in the long right-hander and matched the line and the speeds quite well. Although, Mangano was back full on throttle a little bit earlier than me. At the end of the tunnel I'm again 5 to 6 km per hour slower than him. The next corner looks almost the same up to this point. From here, Mangano went straight to the throttle, while I went for the safe option and backed off a little bit. The difference, more than 10 km per hour at this point. At the exit of this corner you can see how good he knows the track limits. He's using every inch of the track, while I have about 30 to 40 centimeters of safety margin there. At the second split time, the gap is about 7 tenths. Now it's time for the final corner and you see Mangano is braking later than me. Also he starts to turn in much earlier. This results in a lower apex speed for him, but gives him the opportunity to be much earlier on throttle again. So in the end there are no huge differences you can spot, but all these small mistakes and differences add up to almost one second. After watching Mangano's complete lap in slow motion, I think we can consider this as almost flawless. And that's what makes an Olympic champion an Olympic champion. The absolute absence of mistakes.